Hey guys, welcome back to a, another episode in my tips and strategies for PUBG. And in this game, it was kind of an odd game, a little bit uh, just based on sort of where the circle ends up and um, just some things that happen. But all in all, it's sort of a typical game for you know how I approach. So the plane, obviously, you can see is coming in through here. Now, my idea was to jump over uh, into this area and to actually... Uh, end up getting into a vehicle and then kind of taking off uh, and getting um, further along on the on the road. This guy's kind of doing exactly what I was trying to do. Uh, problem was I couldn't find a vehicle immediately. Uh, so what ends up happening? I think I run up here. Yeah, I think I get into this vehicle. And so we're going to go ahead and just kind of fast forward through a lot of this just so you can kind of see my natural progression. So uh, move up to here, finally get into a vehicle, and you'll see. So you can see where the circle is. And so I'm kind of coming up through here. I go past the water treatment plant. I don't take any fire from anybody. I passed like a couple people along the way, uh, but no one was really, really close to me. So we'll go ahead and kind of get back over to where I'm at. So I knew it was going to be a northern circle at this point. So I was trying to position myself in sort of an area that I thought, okay, well, I still need to raid. So I still need to try to get some better stuff. Because um, I didn't have much at this point. So I end up running down there way off in the distance. So I hit... Uh, those buildings down there, I then move to the top of the hill, I hit these buildings, and then I'm, I start to move down to here, and then actually somebody uh, comes over into this area, and I was hoping that they were going to end up in this warehouse, so I kind of uh, was waiting for them, and they did not show up. So we'll go ahead and kind of fast forward a little bit more, you can kind of just see where I'm going. So that circle hits, here's the new circle. Yeah, it's uh, Beat Trick. Uh, that ends up being the guy that is close to me, but he doesn't come into the warehouse where I'm at. Uh, so he takes off. But we will see him in a little bit. Uh, so there I am. Yada, yada, yada. So I'm, I end up running over to here. Now over here is where I have my first encounter. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize Beatrick was <laughs> shooting that vehicle. I don't know if he's trying to blow it up. Uh, anyway, that's kind of funny. I didn't know he did that. So, <clears throat> kind of move ahead a little bit. So, I, I believe, no, it's not life is hard. I think we see him a little bit later on as well. So, he and I do not encounter one another. There's a guy, uh, Brock, Brocko Lee. Scroll in here. Broccoli. <clears throat> oh, broccoli. Nice. <laughs> I had, uh, whatever, man. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that was the guy's name. And I had seen it <laughs> before in the kill feed when I killed this guy, but whatever. I didn't. I, man, I can't. I don't like broccoli unless there's cheese on it, but. Uh, anyway, so what this guy ends up doing is he comes down to where I'm at. Now, what I'm calling this. Um, uh, video is it's okay to be late or I'll make it similar to that but here's the thing so this is going to end up basically being the third circle at this point now I end up making a mistake here now I've got uh, a vector I'm taking damage but I, when I heard that vehicle come up, I thought there was a chance that whoever it was was actually going to be running up past me right here. So I didn't want to give off any noise. So you can t see how much damage I'm taking, which isn't much. But I had a vector, and um, I actually, you know, I'm so used to having, I, I've just started to use the vector more, and so it's got burst fire. So I end up cycling through and I thought I was on auto fire but I was on single but it ends up not making a difference so this guy is in this building and he's just trying to um, get situated and so he comes out I hear him run and right there is when it was like oh crap I I'm not set to auto fire 
But the guy runs right in front of me. He doesn't know where the shots are coming from. So I end up getting this guy down. So the whole reason I'm calling like the video, it's okay to be late. So you can see where I'm at. Now there's a minute and a half to go. So I raid this guy real quick. I get healed up. But here's the thing. I knew that there was a vehicle right there. So what I planned on doing, um, I started to kind of run up. Uh, I went back and kind of raided this guy just to make sure he didn't have anything else that I needed. But my intention the whole time was go grab this vehicle and then we are going to come down this road. But I see the muscle car over here. So I go over, I grab the muscle car and I take off this way. Now I end up having a med kit and the damage I'm taking, it's not good but it's still early enough even though we're getting near the end of the game it's still not bad enough that I'm going to take so much damage that it's going to end up being a problem um, and that's sort of the thing is if you can end up being late to the circle you know guys it's okay to be late as long as you've got enough stuff to get healed up and I had first aid kits I had uh, the med kit in fact I had two med kits this game um, I had plenty of boosts. I mean, I ended I ended up finding enough stuff that I knew I was going to be all right. And that's sort of the thing is, if if you know that you can at least get to a vehicle, because guys, there's there's no way I'm running over this mountain down the valley, then you know coming around the side up through here to get into here. Like I knew I was going to have to get into a vehicle, and so that's what I end up doing. So we'll fast forward just a little bit here. So. The circle's coming in. Now, the damage I'm going to be taking is, is more severe at this point, but it's still not enough to kind of go against what I've got. And that's how you kind of have to say, like, how do I want to approach this next circle? Because a lot of times what I like to do is be in a vehicle, be outside the circle, see where the next one's going to be, and then drive into the circle. And the problem ends up being that if you try to go ahead and get into the circle and then heal up okay well anyone who is right along here who's come in to the circle they're going to see you and then they're going to end up just getting a headshot while you're sitting in your vehicle so right here is when I decide like, okay take the med kit um, take some painkillers and then let's move up and I'm gonna end up um, driving my vehicle to get into the circle here Unfortunately, uh, that doesn't quite happen. I end up wrecking the vehicle I'm in. That went really quick, but you get the idea. I end up wrecking, and that's the problem with the muscle car, is it is not an off-road vehicle. Now, I get lucky that there was no one around me at that point. Um, no one was near me, so it's not like I was in any danger, and I don't know that, but uh, at the time... But fortunately, no one's around me. So, uh, B Trick is the guy we saw earlier uh, that I thought was going to come into the warehouse, and he didn't. So, he's working his way around. Um, so, we're down to 18 people at this point. I've got one person down. And so, I'm kind of letting the game sort of unfold at this point. Now, what I can basically tell uh, at this point is when I hit this side, you know, I was looking. Uh, over in this area and I didn't see anybody so I'm scoping down I'm, I'm looking and looking I've got an SKS and uh, I had an 8 scope so I'm looking sort of in every direction but it didn't really make sense that there would be somebody over on this ridge line and there wasn't um, but I was positive that there would end up being people up here at this village uh, and there's actually no one there or there hadn't been anyone there and really the first guy has now made his way into the village so what I am trying to do at this point is, and I'm going to set it back down. And they had a problem with the replays yesterday where like people weren't loading up, uh, but it seems to be okay now. So, so really just a bunch of firing going on over on this side, people sort of shooting in every direction. Uh, life is hard is coming in. Dark Sparta sees them. So the circle's coming in. These guys are going to be taking so much damage at this point. 
Uh, Beatrick was taking shots at people. Yeah, see, he's fading in and out. I don't know what the deal is. So, you, here's the thing. I knew I could hear these shots from this uh, silenced uh, sniper rifle over here. And so, what I end up doing is I actually see this guy. But I'm not taking any shots at this guy. Now, I had put myself right in this bush. Now, you can obviously see where I'm at. I'm somewhat visible. Um, the light-colored bushes are not the best places to be. But I, I see where this next circle is. Nope, wrong guy. So, I see where this next circle is. <coughs> Excuse me. Where's Beatrick? There we go. And so I knew I had time, and I knew, based on where I sort of heard those shots, that I was going to see somebody. Now, you can see where I'm at right there, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm blending in. And so I'm using this bush. I'm trying to stay hidden. Now, i am got this guy dead to rights right now. Now, he's got a couple places that he could kind of move to for cover, but my intention with this guy is as long as he doesn't see me, and so that's why I keep my scope on him. If he sees me, then I'm ready to get into the fight. But if he doesn't see me, he's going to run right past me, and he's going to be running up to this village. So what I want to do is to trail this guy, and I'm a big believer in trailing people to get information from them about sort of what lies ahead. So what I end up doing is exactly that. This guy does not see me at all he's looking in every direction kind of look at it from my point of view so I've got the guy scoped down and I'm just waiting just in case he kind of turns and, and pays attention to me he doesn't he moves up he just keeps moving and I'm using him to try to get information so we're now down to 10 people I thought about taking a shot here if he had stopped because uh, I figured I could get him with a headshot and then follow that up by rushing him and getting him down but instead I stick to my plan the guy doesn't stop, he moves up, and something really annoying happens, and you'll kind of see. Um, I'm going to look at it from this perspective. So here's what this guy does. He runs up here. I'm trailing this guy. So you can see where I'm at. I'm leaning into my shot. Now here's the thing, guys. I get a headshot on this guy, and then I follow it up immediately with another shot. And I hit him with the other shot. Look at his health. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? If the guy doesn't have on the military vest, I get this guy down, no problem. Uh, doesn't happen. So I'm rushing up. I'm thinking it makes sense that he's there. Now, I'm taking fire at this point. I'm taking fire from Life is Hard. He had seen me, so this guy's trying to trying to hit me. I don't. He was so far back. Yeah, this guy's not loading. I don't know what the deal is, but he's right there. But he's a pretty good distance, and I'm running. So I, you know, I he hit me. I think uh, uh, once or twice, but he doesn't get me down. So, Beatrick had moved all the way up to the top there. I go ahead and just go for cover at this point. And I'm thinking there's a chance that this guy had run into this building, um, and I somehow missed it. Uh, but, you know, he's not in here. There's nobody else in here. So, now we're down to nine people. Life is hard. Just got taken out. Uh, Daryl Red Mist is moving up, and he and however you say this guy's name, Computer Man 2, I don't know, I think they get into a fight, I think Red Mist wins this, I think, not 100%, he does, this guy has no health, he sits down, but guess who takes him out, I just put a sniper shot on this guy from this window over here, so we are now down to five people, so I'm going to kind of show you uh, where everybody is at this point. Okay, so the one guy that I had looked at the kill feed and I could hear the gunshots, this guy is using, um, I think the AUG or the Groza. I, I, I can't remember which one. I guess we'll, we'll see here in a second, as long as he loads up. 
All right, well, it's not loading. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, so this guy's got the AUG. So I could hear the AUG uh, going off. Um, and so what this guy's actually doing, um, he's moving up. He ends up seeing Beatrick. Um, I can't remember if Beatrick returns fire or not. I don't know what the deal is with these characters not loading, but they aren't. So uh, we've got 40 seconds left, and basically what happens is... Um, Eto, I don't know why they're not loading. That's so weird. Anyway, um, this guy, Eto, uh, ends up taking out Beatrick, um, coming over from this side. We've got that guy for you. Yeah, what is the deal here, man? Come on, PUBG. Boy, this is a really good video. The characters don't even load. Uh, anyway, hopefully they come back in. So this guy's moving up. There we go. So these two, and they went out again. Golly. So Beatrick had chucked a grenade because he heard this guy, but then he kind of moves down, and Eto just moves over, sees him, uh, ends up getting this guy down. He's trying to heal up, but he takes damage from this, the circle, but Grenade gets him down. Um, guy, I'm just going to call this guy Guy. He uh, he took out, I think, Demolisher or whatever the other guy's name is, so he takes him out. So we're now down to three people. Now here's the thing. So I'm the only person at the moment that knows 100% where everybody else is. Um, because I haven't fired my weapon lately. So uh, I'm up here and I'm scoping this out. Now, what I knew was that the guy with the AUG was over here on this side. I knew he was over here because this is where I could hear the gunshots. Um, I heard this other gun fight. So I know that this guy is over in this area. So what I'm trying to do at this point is I'm trying to scope down and I'm looking for a shot of opportunity but at the same time, it's like crap. I, I'm, you know, I know where both guys are, so we kind of have this triangle going on. So, sort of, whoever fires first <clears throat> is giving away their position, and I get kind of lucky in the sense that Eto sees a uh, guy, and so these two start exchanging fire. But the problem is, this ends up being quite a long firefight. Um, these guys kind of go back and forth, back and forth. And I had seen a guy right there through the window. I didn't have a chance to uh, hit him. I see him again, but, you know, he doesn't stop moving. And it's kind of like, okay, if these two guys see one another, I kind of want them to fight. Because if they fight, then they're not going to know where I'm at. That way I'm going to have the element of surprise. Um, that was the idea. That was the plan that I had. And unfortunately... I end up seeing <clears throat> guy through the window here. He actually ends up seeing me uh, and gets a really nice shot on me. I mean, look at that right there. I take a shot. He nails me right there. And uh, I go ahead and have to heal back up. So it's like, okay, crap. So the last guy knows where I'm at. So Eto is now moving his way around. These two get into another fight. So, Eto almost goes down there, but he doesn't quite go down. I've now healed all the way up, and so... What I've said before in my videos is if you ever get into a fight and you don't get your opponent down, you have to move. And so, now that these two are fighting, I've used the med kit, I'm fully healed up, I take off running. And I am trying to get over into this next building, and... The way these two were fighting, I thought one of them was about to go down. <clears throat> it lasted a little bit longer. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm out of where I was. So I move into this building right over here. So when I move into this building, you know, I'm still in the circle at this point, And the next circle ends up being really good because I'm in the next one. Uh, guy was trying to blow up that van. Um, that was his intention. 
Eto chucks a grenade. Um, he placed it well. He just didn't get him down. And right there is when Eto goes down. So when Eto goes down, I see that in the kill feed. So now I know that the guy with the AUG is, is done. He's, he's out. And now I know that, okay, the last guy actually saw where I was a minute ago. So he's going to be looking in this direction. The problem is <clears throat> what I needed to do was to go ahead and run out the back here and try to get over to the side and sort of lean into a shot so I could see, I would be able to hear which way this guy would be coming. If he would be coming from this side or he'd be coming from this side and I'd have a little bit of an element of surprise and I don't react quick enough. So what ends up happening though, this guy goes ahead and uh, he comes down out of the building and he decides to kind of rush me because he knows that I'm somewhere over in this area. So once I hear this guy moving, I was trying to scope him down real quick. I go ahead and realize like, okay, we're done with the sniper rifle. I switch over to the, um, I think I had an M4. And yeah, I do. So I switch over to the M4. This guy, we'll kind of look at it from his perspective. And I'm slow it down just a little bit. So he's looking for me. He knows that I'm not in that back building. He doesn't see me right here. So he runs in, tries to just take a shot real quick just to see if I'm in there. Runs around the side. And I'm not saying this is a mistake, but he kind of runs straight up to this building. He can see the door. And when he gets up to that window see I already know that he's going to be in a really small area but it's it's an area that I basically can't miss I mean if you rush up to a window there's really only one place that you can be if you're far away and I'm at the window there's only one place I can be and so this guy I think probably would have been a little bit better off um, if he had actually sort of moved in a uh, instead of kind of rushing me at this point if because he would have been in the circle right here. I, he probably didn't have any grenades left, um, but he, he, he might have been able to be in, I think, maybe a better position um, if he had slowed down instead of kind of rushing right into there. But at the end of the day, it, it's not really a mistake. I mean, if this guy feels comfortable in sort of being in close range um, and winning those fights, then it's really not a mistake. Um, I... I if it's me, I'm not as confident, so I probably would have like slowed down a little bit and tried to see, like, okay, can I pinpoint where this guy is before I rush up to the window? And I think the only reason he didn't chuck a grenade in is just because he didn't have any more. Um, if he had thought about it, I think afterwards, he might have actually rushed back here just to see if he had been able to get some grenades out of this, uh, out of Eto's crate. Um, but at the end of the day, it was a good game. It's sort of a typical game for me. Uh, I had three kills, get the chicken dinner, and you can just kind of see how I slowly and cautiously, you know, approach. And I'm using other people to gain information. I'm not taking a shot just because it's there. I'm sort of waiting and plotting my strategy on how it is I want to approach the end of the game. So, alrighty, guys, I don't know how many more of these videos I'm going to put up. Um, I, this is going to be my 22nd, so I've put a bunch of them up. And um, it's not like my channel's huge or anything, so uh, it's not like there's a demand for them. So I'm going to continue to kind of put them up as I see fit. But if you do end up seeing this, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I've really enjoyed making these, and I hope that my strategies uh, kind of just show you how I approach the game. And, you know, maybe it's a way that you kind of want to copy to at least some of the ideas that I implement. So at the end of the day, Thank you so much, and we will see you next time. See ya.